Hi guys and welcome to the Link Loft and uh, welcome to Bonners. We're back again. Uh, can't stay away, can we? Yeah, we haven't been kicked out of the loft, don't worry. No, um, no, it's uh, it's still there. Um, you shall see it very soon. But yes, um, we're back on the Fender train uh, again. Uh, we just can't get off it. It's great. There's <laughs> so many uh, so many goodies to kind of go over. So yes, uh, we're going to be comparing um, the. I've got a Strat. Uh, it's the '60s Vintero modified, and and I've got the Fender Player Strat. So both Mexican, um, different price points. This one's around, at time of filming, 500-ish. Um, and that one's around 850-ish. There we go. Um, so as our other videos have proved so popular, um, we thought this would be really cool because out of all the videos we've done, this is probably what I think will pose the biggest questions to people buying guitar. Both Mexican made, yeah. not that much money in it. Which one do you go for? Mm. So it'd be really cool to, you know, as usual, we'll do some really cool clips, hopefully for you. Uh, just using a Blues Junior uh, for clean and dirty sounds, no pedals. Yeah. And um, please check out the specs. Uh, fed up of repeating ourselves that we are useless with specs and technical <laughs> things. We like to play guitars. We like the way they feel. We like the way they sound. At some, you know, certain things we do like to look out for spec-wise. Um, please check the links below. All the specs mm. from the Bonners website. They're all available to grab. You know, we're not actually going to grab them as we won't be allowed back here again. No. Um, but yeah, let's do it. All right, see what it sounds like. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Again, don't know, quite a tight battle, but what do you think? Um, I know what I'm going for. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's difficult, because even though this has a slight satin, satin finish, this neck is killer. It is, yeah, which is a massive clue uh, to what <laughs> to which one that I might be going for. Um, out of these two, uh, yeah, this is hands down me. I just, just purely on feel... Um, the playability is just something else it's like butter honestly it is, it's like... incredible and uh, yeah I mean you get all the tones you need out of it it's just bags of tone all the different positions uh, as you saw uh, previously but yeah uh, it's very tempting um, you know maybe this does leave here today with me I don't know <laughs> well that'd be an interesting video yeah. I mean part of me I just can't get away from this because of the price point of this I mean if you're looking for a strap that's not going to break the bank. I mean, the pickups sound incredible. You've got the tone wide to the bridge. You've got a nine and a half radius. Um, you've got our Nico 5 pickups. There really isn't anything I can criticize. It stays in tune. Um, yeah. It's just really which one you prefer. Yeah. Um, and I'd say the biggest difference out of both is that neck. Yeah, that's the only thing I could say. Yeah, I agree. Just to sort of really pick up. Ah, oh. Extra fret. Have you got an extra fret? I've got an extra fret. Do you know fret. what? I didn't even notice all this. So when, I, when you're doing your uh, Paul Gilbert, yeah, you've got that. yeah. Okay. Do you know what? Even then, I'd probably still stick with this actually. Yeah. Uh, after finding out that bit of new information, but yes, uh, and obviously, yeah, this has got the uh, slightly hotter pickups as well. I think on this one, the yeah. vintage hot is it? Yeah. But anyway, but again, all specs. But you know, we just want to see it. You know, how it sounds and exactly you know, what it does. So please write in the comment below which one did you prefer and why. We've got quite a few cool videos on different ones. So we've done the Vintera versus Vintera Modified, Vintera versus American Original. Now we're doing Player versus Vintera Modified. So check them out, leave some comments, and we'll see you again soon. Yeah, take it easy, guys. <laughs>